something that we can use on the cattle side. Uh, basically, if we can put it on the feed wagon, uh, I'm going to get rid of the Massey. And, you know, it's something a little bit more comfort zone, I guess. Uh, not only for the feed wagon, but uh, we're going to be doing a lot of our own bailing this year and swapping. And so we're going to use that tractor quite a bit. So we wanted something with a little bit more uh, features in it than what the Massey can offer. So right now we are heading up to Iowa. So it's going to be a fun drive. It is negative 7 out. And with the windshield we are sitting at negative 25 right now. So it's cold. Really, really cold. So, let's go get some fuel and hope we make it out there with no problems. So we made it back home. Uh, I did not get a lot of video of the tractor when I was up there. Um, basically because the tractor, where I got the tractor, it was negative 27. So I wasn't going to stand around and film. I could barely even function with my insulated gloves on the way it was. So I, I apologize for that. However, we'll get a closer look at it. Um, I bought the tractor as is. Uh, so what that means is they didn't do any work to it. They got it in, didn't run it through the shop. Uh, they did a visual inspection on it, but never ran it through anything else. So when I get, uh, it's getting pretty late now. I'm going to try and get the tractor started now. I had to plug it in. It would not start. Uh, basically because, I mean, it was the highest I ever got on the whole way home was 11 degrees. So that's that hopefully we'll start here in about an hour when i get done feeding cows and then i'm gonna put it in the shed and we're gonna work on it tomorrow uh we're gonna replace the pto seal it leaks pretty bad and then one of the quick coupler valves on the loader leaks and i got them to throw all the parts in so we're gonna replace those uh basically vacuum it out clean it up and see what else we can find so that's all we got for today and we'll come back in the morning Welcome back. So it's the next morning uh, from when we picked up the loader tractor. So I'm going to kind of go over uh, what I got. And uh, basically I just, I updated from the Massey because this year we're doing all of our own bailing. Uh, we're going to do our own swathing. So I wanted something with a, a little more comfort zone. Um, you know, if I'm going to spend all day in it, I want it to be a little bit more comfortable along with option B, which is dogs. Option B, which is road speed. This tractor has a power quad 24 transmission. So it can basically do uh, 25 to 27 mile an hour, somewhere in there. I haven't got down the road to find out, but that's just from what I found reading online and the old Massey can do about 15 and a half so that's a huge reason right there um, now we have our other loader tractor which is a 7810 uh, two-wheel drive it's like 175 horse somewhere in there and so I really didn't need a loader and I actually wasn't even looking for a loader I was just looking for I wanted a front wheel assist uh, for pulling the feed wagon when it gets muddy where I'm at it's just a sloppy mess but it came with the loader so I mean I couldn't resist now the tractor's got a lot of hours it's got a little over 11,000 hours but less than 1500 hours ago it was completely overhauled by John Deere uh, the front axle has been completely rebuilt the hydraulic systems have been completely gone through so it's basically a new tractor so with that being said, let's check it out. Okay, so here we are. So this is a, a 2064 10 John Deal front wheel assist. 
640 self leveling and loader is what came on it. It came with bucket, bell spear, and pallet forks. Um, tires are actually pretty good shape. It's set on 72 inches, which is exactly what we are for row crop. So if we need to go pull a pivot out or drive down the rows, it will work great. It's got a few cosmetic things, but it's nothing I'm too concerned about. Now it's just, it's just a little tractor, which is exactly what we need. So it's got the quick catch hydraulics for the loader if you want to take the loader on and off. Um, something I'm not really going to worry about. Now, when I bought this as is, it means not cleaned up, not serviced, and they didn't fix any issues. So the issues that they had um, was one of the internals here on the quick connect was leaking and it came with the part, they gave me the part. I put it in, it solved that leak. However, this hose is leaking up here and we tried to fix it, but we can't. So I'm gonna have to take this hose off that hooks up there. So it's just a short little hose and get me a new one of them. That will solve that oil leak. And then the only other oil leak that had the major one uh, was the PTO seal. And after looking at it, they thought it was the outside seal. Well, it's not. Um, it's the inner O-ring way back in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buy both seals and just do them anyways. Uh, do them once and be done. Now, I was told that when changing that, you can park it downhill or you can just do it really fast or you can drain all the oil. Well, not knowing exactly how many hours are on this oil, I think we're just gonna drain the oil and be done with it. And then just put new oil in it. Inside the cab here, it's pretty dirty. I haven't had any time. Came with some stuff I gotta replace. Uh, it's got a flip down buddy seat. Forward and reverse power shifter. And then it's got the 24 speed power quad. Two lever hydraulics. Uh, it has the option for the third, um, cause there's four in the back, but the other two go to my hydraulic joystick for the loader. So which everything I use, I would never use three on something this small. So we're just gonna keep the two. Uh, PTO, lights, indicator, Heat, AC, four wheel drive, auto, two wheel drive. So, uh, one through four, each gear has one through four. Just shift the button, throttle, quick connect on the loader bucket itself, which is kind of nice, but I wish it would, we might change that so it's for a grapple instead. So that's, what we went to Iowa to get. And we're gonna clean it up, grease the whole thing. So now we're gonna do our maintenance on this tractor and be done with it and put her to work. Super excited about it. Uh, it's a nice running little four cylinder tractor. It's got about 100 horse, 100, depends where you look, anywhere from 95 to 110. So somewhere in that range, which is perfect, that will run. Uh, my feed wagon that will run our shredder, our ditch shredder. So yeah, it's got uh, the quick connect on the back for the three point. It's a category two, our other tractors are category three. Um, we're gonna see if we can put one on there, but the pin sizes are different. So we're gonna see if they make a category two tall to match category three. If not, we'll figure something out to make it work on all of our attachments we already have. This is our trailer, spray trailer that we're working on too. Gotta do all kinds of plumbing, add an inductor tank to it, and another long process. Anyways, 
That's all I got for you guys this time. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, I'm on Instagram and Facebook at JM Farm and Cattle. Post videos and little short clips and pictures all the time of just random things on the farm. So be sure and check them out and give them a follow. We'll see you guys next time.